Chris Everett and Martina Navratilova are all-time greats in their tennis world, and their rivalry is the greatest in sports history. Over a magical golden era, in the 70s and 80s, women's tennis exploded in popularity, thanks in part to the two fierce competitors, Chrissy Everett and Martina Navratilova, who played 80 times and staged, in my opinion, the greatest rivalry in the history of sports. I was at the 1971 U.S. Open when I faced 16-year-old newcomer Chrissy Everett in the semifinals. Since I was representing professional tennis and she was still an amateur, the stakes were high, but I was no stranger to pressure. I defeated Chrissy and ultimately won the U.S. Open title. I've never seen it so exciting. She made the U.S. Open. She was a superstar from childhood. After the match, I said to everyone, you guys, that kid is our next superstar. She's it. She's the one. Then the rising star, Martina Navratilova, entered the U.S. circuit from Eastern Europe. She was a powerhouse. I remember how angry she got when announcers would mangle her name. And I told her, don't worry, just keep winning. They'll learn to pronounce your name. Chrissy took center court, capturing her first slam at the 1974 French Open and another singles title at Wimbledon. As Chrissy's popularity soared, Martina stepped up, challenging her at the 1975 French Open. Two young women at the peak of their careers set the stage for an epic rivalry. We were constantly waiting for the next big Chrissy Martina match. In 1984, Chris and Martina faced off in three of the four Grand Slam finals. Martina capturing all three titles. The following two years, they battled it out in four more Grand Slam finals, breaking even with two wins each. In 1985, Chrissy beat defending champion Martina to reclaim the French Open title. It was a fearless and tight match that could have gone on forever spectators on the edge of their seats until the very last moment. They played 80 times. Have you ever heard of anybody playing 80 times? In the end, Martina won 43 matches to Chrissy's 37. Tennis fans were drawn to this rivalry because these two could not be more different from one another. Chrissy came from sunny Florida and had the nickname of Cinderella in sneakers. She knew how to keep her cool on the court, was unflappable, and had a sensational shot placement that was hard to match at the time. Chris Everett with a two-handed backhand revolutionized the game. All the kids started using that. And then Martina Navratilova took it to a new level because of her fitness. Martina was a full court drama, complete with emotional outburst. Watching these two on the court was like watching fireworks on the 4th of July. Individually, Martina won the most singles title in history with 167, while Chrissy trailed close behind at second place with 157 titles. They took it to a whole new level. This is our first generation of real pros. When they started, they made money. They're like all-time greats. When Martina and Chrissy joined the Virginia Slims tour with us, they amplified its popularity through their notorious rivalry, shining a brighter light on the tour and ushering in a new generation of stars. They left an indelible mark on the sport and the road to gender equality. Both Chrissy and Martina are my friends for life. I helped coach Martina to win her ninth Wimbledon singles title in 1990 by allowing her to reconnect to the joy of playing. And I convinced Chris to become president of the WTA after I stepped down because I knew she could do it. And then we were both so proud when Martina followed in our footsteps by serving as the WTA president after us. Relationships are everything. And I'm grateful to have Chrissy and Martina in my life. For more incredible stories about iconic women in sports, you can watch Groundbreakers on the PBS app or on your local PBS station. Head to the link in the description to learn more.